Okay, in general I felt like crap almost every day this past week. Waking up with no energy, waking up feeling discouraged, and getting on the scale and seeing either no weight loss or barely a pound for the entire week. And I think life's unfair. I think it's unfair because I can go and put on five pounds in a day, depending on what I eat, but it'll take a month to release it. And that's just, I'm sorry, I, uh, I have not found the positive in that. It feels like life's unfair. Given that, <coughs> I have lost, I think, a week, uh, a week, yeah, I lost a week. <laughs> lost a week to lose a pound, is what it feels like. I'm surprised that I'm not passed out right now. I did do a short but intense workout, and that's with zero carbs. What I'm learning, and of course we're looking for the Joe Vitale code to break into the safe that makes them fit again, and in doing that little combination lock, I've been focused on how much protein I take, which is about 180 grams, and I've been very good about taking in the protein. But as I learned this morning with Scott's help, is that I have taken in virtually no carbs. For example, yesterday, we don't see any carbs at all in the intake, zero. And so when he shows up this morning and I say, look, my blood pressure is really low, I feel really faint, I feel cold, I got no energy, my mood is really pissy, and he shows me my, my chart, my food calorie chart, and says, where's the carbs? And I was assuming the carbs would be a side effect of me just eating protein. It's like carbs are in the air. All I have to do is breathe and they're going to show up. That's what it feels like. When somebody else is eating fudge, I look at it and I gain weight. <clears throat> well, it's unfair. So, uh, okay, so the short answer is it's not been a great week. I mean, I'd love to tell you it's been a great week. It has not been a great week. Mostly because I made the mistake of weighing every morning. That's something I was spoiled to do when I was on the HCG diet because you'd look at the scale, you'd see you lost one to two pounds, you're ready to go the next day. But if you look on the scale now, and I see either no change, or it actually even fluctuates, it looks like it comes up a little bit, my whole day goes down the toilet. I don't get depressed about it, I'm stronger than that, but I do get discouraged. So the new knowledge is, make sure to eat your carbs. I've also not had a cheat meal since I've begun. I'm told to at least do it once to uh, get it out of your system, to give your body something to chew on, to be able to tell the story that I had a cheat meal and this is what it was like. So I'll probably do that later today, but I've not done it yet. Uh, I am surprised that I did the intense workout this morning, which shows that you can still get things accomplished with the right motivation and the right mindset. Having somebody believe in you makes a massive difference. But I also have learned that I'm not just doing this for me, I'm doing this for all the people that pay attention to me. Uh, I pretty much have worn my, my life on my sleeve or my heart on my sleeve. I tell the world everything I go through, and it's not to go into an egotistical adventure, it's to tell people, learn from what I've learned. That's what I'm doing it for. So I have to remember that when I come in here to work, out, it's not just for me. It's for all the people that are either paying attention now or will pay attention in the future. That gives me more motivation than just saying, do it for yourself, even though that, that can be adequate. Well, as I head into week three, I have a new sense of motivation right now. Part of it is I'm armed with some more information. One is make sure to get my carbs. If I can get some carbs in, 200, 240 grams a day, I forget exactly what it was, but some carbs, if I get some carbs in, I'll wake up with some energy, which will enable me to go through my day with better spirits and better strength, and then when I go in to go do my workouts, I'll be able to do them. I'll have the motivation, I'll have the mindset, I'll have the strength, I'll have the energy, I'll have the wind. So as I go into week three, uh, there's a renewed uh, sense of excitement. I also have a better understanding of the scale. It's like, don't be a victim of the scale. Don't let it be uh, the puppet pulling my strings or the puppet master. So in other words, you look at it once a week, maybe on the Saturdays that my trainer comes out, or, uh, or whenever he suggests looking at it. Uh, but don't look at it every day, because I, I end up just letting it rule how I feel. Uh, I also have learned that these short, intense workouts can be incredibly beneficial. The one I just did here with Scott's uh, uh, guidance probably took eight or nine minutes, but I'm obviously I'm, I'm winded, but I feel great. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to beat the hell out of Bob, who I've renamed Scott. And, uh, and so going into week three, I feel stronger, I feel better, my mood's al already elevated, partly because I have new information, which is going to guide what I do over the next seven days.